Most of the disrespectful moments that came from Dragon Ball Z was Vegeta getting his ass. Let's let's keep it a whole bean stack. He to get beat the hell up. We got Kid Boo. We got what 18 did to him. My boy is getting fed up for real. Let's not forget the first time he fought Zarbon. What Raccoon did to him. Vegeta was walking <laughs> L for Yo, no. Nah. Forget the first time he fought Zarbon. What Raccoon did. Yo, this. Yo, imagine getting beat by this nigga. Look at this nigga. Face. All right, chat. The most disrespectful moments in anime featuring CJ the Champ. Shout out the boy Aaron. You know what I'm saying? A A Ron, as I call him. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah, man. Let's get into these 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 thingamajanks. In all of anime, there's never been a character more disrespected than Vegeta. Oh, I was like, bitch. Now I'm on bumper. But they got me wondering what's some of the most disrespectful moments in anime. Look, my boy CJ the champ. Bro gave him the stupidest wombo combo I have ever seen. You know some of the moments that's in this video. What you thinking, gang? Oh, they're pretty fine. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. They can't. Well. Let's see him, you bitch. You can't have a disrespectful moment come without Baki, aka mm -hmm. Mr. Bicho ass. One of the most disrespectful anime characters of all time. We're gonna be talking about Baki, I think it was season two, season three. Don't quote me on the actual season, but we're gonna be talking about the season when Baki met Muhammad Ali Jr. I was a sparring partner for Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali thought it was sweet. It was like Baki, more like low key. Cause you low key don't really stand a chance. Actually, high key, you high key don't stand. A clean as clock. What we talking for? I'm about to beat his ass for real. Why this whispering is crazy. Right. After I beat your ass, I'm gonna beat your daddy ass. Help me. Now, as they about to line up, you already know my boy Yujiro Hama was in there like, hey, y'all fight. You know what I'm saying? Fight to the death. Woo. He's like, you know what? Woo, woo, I'm gonna woo. go start the fight. Fight start off. It go like this. Yeah, I'm about to drop this dude. Watch this. Ah, there you go. We oh, damn. damn. Floating in the air. How could his hands do this? Oh, someone get him out the air. Damn! My boy Baki dipped under that link. Clean your chin up. Baki literally we Damn. Damn. At this moment, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. If I was Muhammad Ali Jr., I'd have been like, hold up, bro. This fight not for me. When Ali Jr. get up and he go to talking like this. I, I ain't gonna lie, you're not about to knock me out like this here. Moment. You're not about to have me sleep on the floor like this and then expect me to get up and still fight you. <laughs> Too many Glockies. I'm not fighting you after. If I was on the ground stretched out like the ambulance is finna pick me up and take me to the hospital, you're going on a t-shirt. I'm not getting back up to fight you. I'm getting back up to shoot. That's it. To be honest. Oh, my boy Baki dipped under that link. Clean your chin up. Baki literally we At this moment, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. If I was Muhammad Ali Jr., I'd have been like, hold up, bro. This fight not for me. When Ali Jr. get up and he go to talking like this. All right, you got me one. You got me. That was good. That was good. But let's run this back. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now. You shouldn't have let me get up. Now I'm about to beat your ass for real. Come on. Let's get it. You thought this was safe. I'm about to kick him. Damn. Proceeds to knock him out, runs up on him, and goes to talk to kill this nigga. Bro, you you know how savage you gotta be to get down on a person you already knocked out and literally go to kill him? Ali out of it. He's out of it. At this point in time, he about to die. That nigga daddy run up, sock Baki. Like, hey, I couldn't let you kill my son, whatever. After all is said and done, goes in the back. They walking in the back, buddy, break down crying. How you big bad? But turn it to a bitch. He was trying to take his in girl. Front, you was talking in front of your daddy. <laughs> Imagine. How you big bad? But turn it to a bitch. He was trying to take his girl. You was talking all this shit. You was talking about you was gonna whip his ass. That nigga kicked you in the dick, choked you out, almost killed you. <laughs> now you crying because you're a bitch. But let's raise the stake. Throw a disrespectful meter on the screen. My boy CJ is gonna raise each moment from one through ten. If I get over fifty points. 
I'm gonna tell you about one of the most disrespectful anime characters you probably never even heard of. If your boy K hit 50, I will personally watch the worst rated anime in history and do a review and reaction. All right, for this one, you know, I'm gonna have to go with a little seven out of 10 IGN, you feel me? Shit was mad disrespectful. He literally made his dad come out there and help him out. I mean, but hey, that's what you get when you're trying to get with the man's girl. And that's why he got kicked in the dick. Now, gang, our next disrespectful moment comes from a show called Agami Got Kill. And if you heard about it, you know about it. And I'm pretty sure, even if you haven't, you've seen this moment floating around. The moment I'm referring to is the first time we're introduced to Ezda. And it was going like this. We go to this. We see bodies on stakes. And when I, and when I first see this, I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn, is she dead? Did they already kill her? Is the dude from the north that bad? No. Nope. Next thing we see. So Prince who ain't never lost licking her feet and it's going like this. General is that you did. You did very well conquering the city. I didn't think it'll take this nigga got him butt naked licking the. F Grown man. Grown man. Button get in the cold licking the toes. You got to shoot me. 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 Grown man, by the way. That quick. But why is this man naked? I can't believe you the and best they had to offer. He panting! Oh my god, this nigga is panting. Oh my god. Oh, that D ain't even that big. I was hoping before I killed your ass, I was at least gonna get some pleasure out of you. Man, get out of here. I hope somebody can please me. I need somebody to park that big Mac truck right in this little garage. Touch that. And y'all see every day while I question the choices of this friend group I, can't, I don't even want to call him i don't even want to call him i'm i'm <sighs> that dangly thing in the back of my throat i need a bbc I... why why you set the dots what i do i want you to park that big mac truck right in this little girl is that not verbatim what you just said on this video what'd you say you said in this video, you mm -hmm. want him to park that Big Mac truck right in that little garage and touch the dangly thing in the, right back, in the of, back of the throat as, I'm glad I said that. In a, as a right. grown man. That wasn't me that said that. Who was it? I had somebody to do the voiceover for me. This is the boy Cap is. The, the, the biggest this is Cap. cap is. What you biggest talking about, it's, cap? it's literally we're, it's four minutes. How do what you manage to disappoint me in four minutes? Philly did it Damn. at one. <laughs> Max, all right. Just keep going. See, that's not. I told you, I'm not even that bad. Okay, oh Max. Oh my God. I, I'm gonna, exposed live in 4K. I'm leaving the group chat. <laughs> no, do what I dare you. I dare you. I, I ask for your address, and when you see me and Mike there in fucking animal I got costume, it. I got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling up. the police. <laughs> Let's go. Nah, this is crazy. Don't yeah, come. Do not come to my. You know what? Goodbye. See you soon. No. Nope. See you soon. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, don't come to my damn house with that damn. This is outlandish behavior. What? The I hope somebody out there can please me. Oh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mommy, please kick me like that. Huh? I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I would love to be in homie's uh, position right now. I'm <laughs> this is a day. Oh my, it's literally, it's literally, it's all of them. It's literally all of them. I don't even, I'm leaving the group chat. I'm leaving the group chat. I'm leaving the group chat. Any day, bro, I would suck a toes, nigga. Hey, right, right, let me get back to the rating, bro. Nine out of 10, her fine ass was kicking that nigga all over the place. Shit, I wish that was me. Let's bring it with something that's coming back, Bleach. And we all know Bleach is known for some of the most disrespectful moments anime history one of my personal favorites is this my boy legitimately was like yeah yeah, yeah. hey 911 hey yeah um these dudes got look like something happened to them they on western broadway could you send an ambulance i bet or did he just call 911? nah pre-calling the ambulance is phone? crazy yeah because i'm about to beat y'all ass come here how you call for help before you whip somebody ass that's crazy but look that's not even our disrespectful moment our disrespectful moment is when my boy Ichigo got it back in blood. Aizen stopped that man theme music. He legitimately stopped that man theme music and was like, hey boy, this is my show now. He ain't, 
and was like, oh, dang, I cut too shallow. I was trying to cut you in half. You know how disrespectful that is? Well, my boy Ichigo was like, yo, I'm not going out like no bitch. I'm not, I'm not rolling over on that. I'm getting that back in blood. For sure. You gonna get it back in blood. When he came back to run his pockets on him, he was like, hey, son, I, ain't I ain't really trying to do you like this. I just, you know what I'm saying? Let's get out this city. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to fuck this city for real. Get out of here, twin. I don't think I understand. You bitch ass nigga. Mm. You, you don't see how strong I am, boy. I'm in an all white Nike tech for real. <laughs> bro, you forgot I stopped your theme music. You, Crazy you, you tech. You forgot I'm really that nigga, bro. I'm about to be. That boy Ichigo literally face pump like your ass over here. Stop talking to me, bitch. Boy, I even got him like, did this nigga just touch me? Did he just bring me out of the city? Yes, he did. This is absolutely disrespectful. That boy Eisen felt he was confused. He was like, bro, you ain't nobody supposed to touch me like that. <laughs> then Ichigo was like, hey, twin. Man, what you hey, said? twin. Yeah. Uh, I cut too shallow. I tried to cut you in half, twin. That boy Eisen was shook. This man Eisen nah. was talking all that good shit, talking about, I'm that nigga. I'm him. Get my dick out your mouth. Pause. But this man Ichigo was having none of that, bro. Just grabbed his face, face palmed that hoe, and slammed him in the ground. At the height of that man's power, nah, bro. That is easily 10 out of 10. If we gonna talk bleach, just one person we gotta talk about, and that's Ken Pachi. How can you talk about disrespectful and not bring up Ken Pachi? Now, there's so many moments to pick. Prime example, when he destroyed the entire stealth force. Mm. Man truly built different, but one, it's subtle, it's smooth. It's one that's often overlooked because it's, it's it's just Kenpachi being Kenpachi. But you gotta look at it from the other person's perspective. So here we have it. Everybody lining up, getting broke off in the sections. Kenpachi's with Giriko, mm -hmm. right? This is who he's been sanctioned off to fight. Kenpachi, look, you look at the other dude. He like, hey bro, switch with me. Yo, dude looks stronger. I don't want to fight this dude. We don't want to fight cuz for cuz. We whole time. Imagine how you feel. Yo, like, nah. Hey. Imagine telling a homie to switch. Hey, switch with me. Cause that nigga you fighting looks stronger. I want to fight him for real. This nigga look like a bit. Huh, excuse me. I beg your pardon? Nigga did him filthy. You want to fight him cuz he looks stronger? Boy, wait till we get in this room. I'm about to fuck you up. They get in the other room and it's going like. Hey, bro, you thought you thought shit was sweet? I got the power of fuck nigga on my side. Look at me swell up. You see these, you see these guys? God damn. Man, he looks stronger. Wrong me. I'm, I'm, I literally got, I, bro, I got the strength of the strongest <laughs> hater of all time, and I'm about to crack you. You disrespecting me like I'm, a, like I'm a hoe or something. Nah, nah, now I'm about to crack you for real. Now I'm about to shit. Kompachi. Talking all that shit to get split. He talked so much shit to get split. Oh my God, not like, nigga said, <laughs> you're in half. Killed that man in a instant. He was like, bro, what were you even talking for? Like I said, nigga, you weak. Yo, yo, yo nah. Yo, nah. Hey, psst. I'm not one to uh, gossip. But I heard you wasn't following me on Twitter and Instagram. And you wasn't updated when I wasn't able to post on YouTube and you thought I was gone. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's that simple. Enjoy the rest of the vid. Like, bro, what were you even talking for? Like I said, nigga, you weak. Killed him! Now, game! Imagine how cuz felt, cuz before he was dead, dead, he realized he lost. He was like, bro, this nigga really killed me. I thought I was hard for real. No! Damn. You're trash! Our next moment, though, is one of the most grimiest moments in anime history. Now, gang, like I said, we all have moments that get us into something, right? Show. And Dragon Ball Z had my moment that actually got me into the show, and I'm actually saving the disrespectful moment that got me into anime for the very end. It ain't the most disrespectful, but it is close to my heart, and it came from Dragon Ball Z. Most of the disrespectful moments that came from Dragon Ball Z was Vegeta getting his ass. Let's let's keep it a whole bean stack. Vegeta get beat the hell up. We got Kid Boo. We got what 18 did to him. My boy is getting fucked up for real. Let's not forget the first time he fought Zarbon. What Raccoon did to him. Vegeta was walking <laughs> ever. Yo, no. I forget the first time he fought Zarbon. What Raccoon did. Yo, this <laughs> Yo, imagine getting beat by this nigga. 
Look at this nigga's face. Yo, no. It's, Vegeta was walking L for real. He's little Vegeta for real. But there's one person in the show who Vegeta disrespected. And I personally feel this disrespect was, it was downright nasty. And it was our boy Gohan. Now, a lot of people don't remember this, but I do. My boy Vegeta was like, call me your daddy, boy. Come yo, yo, your daddy's no. dead for real. No. You know what I'm saying? He out he out on playing it. Nam it, pop. You know what I'm saying? Your boy done for real. So let me teach you how to be real, man. Let me raise you right. Matter of fact, I'm about to go to your house and, and you know, see what your mama like. What my mama like? Hey, bro, my daddy ain't dead. And on the day at home, if you keep talking like that, I'm gonna crack your shit. I'm gonna say it too. What you trying to get into? What I'm trying to get into, sweet. Hey, you wanna be a saint? You wanna be a saint for real? Bet, bitch, boy. I play with you. This is my daddy. This is my mom. Oh, Earth, I'm about to be so ass. Boy, start running it. We go how I run up on the boop boop boop. I thought that boy go on. Damn. Yo, nah. Imagine you talking all this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Even if you didn't do it, go on dirty, you got punched and kicked crazy. Booper! By a little nigga. <laughs> Just start throwing them. Yo, Vegeta was like, oh. Yo, yo, Vegeta be doing getting done filthy. From YouTube, what's good, gang? Oh, you think I'm a bitch? You think I'm a ah oh, bitch? Brrr, start dogging him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, put your hands up. Mm -hmm, what you getting? He's a child. <laughs> he is a child. I know, bro. Listen, listen, bro. I know, bro. I know, bro. Let me answer this call from my AirPods. Hello? Now I'm just beating this nigga Kakarot son up. Little bitch that nigga hit me, he thought it was sweet. I'm damn near about to be the last saying. I'm about to kill it, let him free. Nigga put his hands on me, twin. I bet, 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 bet. I bet, cool. Nigga named Broly, I ain't never heard of a nigga named Broly. Let me finish beating this nigga ass for real. Hold on, twin, I'll call you back. Bah, bah, bah. Disrespected him. That nigga Piccolo walked up like, hey bro, I'm tired of you beating up on my stepson. Nigga Vegeta was like, fuck your stepson, nigga. I'll beat your ass too. Flies away. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Go how was getting his ass whooped. Oh, but it was something about that ass whooping that was crazy. That nigga said, fuck your daddy, fuck your mom, fuck everything you love, bro. All right, Vegeta piecing up Gohan as a little boy. I have to go ahead and give that a seven as well. Now, you see, it was a little coming of age moment, but still, that nigga beat his ass. But nah, the crazy fact is, though, that Boma was really watching this man beat up on a child, and she still let him hit. Yo, nah, dude. No, no, no. No shot, right? <laughs> Y'all throwing the pool to niggas that beat on children? <laughs> Yo, nah, nasty Riz. And she still let him hit. Yo, nah. Now, 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 let's come out of the OGs for a minute and let's let's dive into one of the newer anime. It's an anime that dropped recently about Overlord. In Overlord, there were a lot of moments that were truly disrespectful. There were moments that just, just downright Davis. But well, one moment in particular in season three, where I was like, nah, this nigga Irons built differently. This nigga really disgusting. They infiltrated his castle. Irons was like, bet, I'm gonna fight y'all myself. Boy I got a sword in the shield. He was like, hey, let's run it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all walked up in here for real. I really want smoke. Let's get it. And I'm about, I'm about to do y'all mad disrespect. I'm about to do y'all nasty for real. And I'm about, I'm about to do y'all so bad. I'm put y'all skin on my body, so I can have skin. I'm really about to do y'all bad. Nah, I'm gonna put your skin on my body. It's crazy. So they start going at it. Hyper strike. Looking at nigga magic. This is child's play for real. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. That's all you got. Ah, ah. You know. Ah. You know what? Let me stop playing with y'all. Hey, come at me with all you got, fam. Like, like, show me what you got. Now, right here, you might be thinking, how is this moment disrespectful? Well, gang, my boy is wearing limiters. He oh, no. put limiters on himself for the fight. Now, there's Yo, this what? one in particular moment, but I was like, you know what, bro? I'm about to use magic. I'm about to fight y'all for real. I'm about to show y'all how you So he took him off? Jordy say, you lying. Just like all men, you lying. You, you can't even <laughs> do magic. What you mean I can't, I can't do magic? What you talking about? I just raised just your like power level. Men. You got zero games, so you for sure don't got no magic. I got zero ga Oh, that's because I got this on. He then takes the ring off. <laughs> she throws up. She's like, oh, no. Nah. Nah, this nigga, he's strong, y'all. We got a ring. 
Yo, no. Oh, my. That's a different level of power, bro. Imagine someone throwing up because they read your power level. That. No, nah, that's a, that's fucking. <laughs> Shawty fucking threw up. No, bro. No, bro. This song. He then takes the ring off. <laughs> she throws up. She's like, oh, no. No, nah, this nigga, he's strong, y'all. We got to run. If we stay, we gonna fight, we gonna die. Put fear in it. At first, she was gonna nah. bump her. That nigga took that ring off and was like, yeah, bitch, look at me now. Look at me now. Took off my ring off and all these hoes start took dancing. took that ring off, that nigga said, get out of here. Y'all niggas about to die. <laughs> then wipe these niggas out. One by just kill them. Oh now, my this, God. This is just straight disgusting. This is a nine out of 10, bro. Nigga took off his ring and started making a bitch vomit just by his presence alone. Then he over here face palming homeboy and he just knocked everybody out cold. Now gang, this next moment is not only one of the most disrespectful moments, it literally has to be the most racist. You ever see certain racist. things in your life and you're like, yeah, that gotta be it, right? But well, that was one moment in one particular movie where I was like, yo, that's that. Now, I'm, I can only show a small clip of this, but we gotta talk about it. When Gojo legitimately beat the black off of Miguel. Now, now, when I first saw this clip, I say, nah, this gotta be like fan animation. <laughs> like, like ain't, no, ain't no way in hell. This bitch went like this. Get your hands off me. This, this all you got? Nah, bro. This, this really about to be. Hey, bro, go away. Let me show you what it's all about. Oh, not, not gonna happen. This all you got, bro? Nah, 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 nah. We, you, you thought Damn. you were sweet, huh? Watch this. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to do you so bad. Come here, come here. Catch you. Nah, get up. Come on, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Come on. Bing, bing. Fight back. Fight back, nigga. Emotional. Come on. Fight back for me. The entire time. Combo, combo, combo breaker, counter, cuz, stun, Jesus. no chance. And the entire time, I'm like, I know what you did to make him this mad, but damn, he, he on bumpers. Like, he was on this nigga bumper. Oh my it's God. okay. And here we go. The 11 out of 10 of this man Gojo committing a hate crime. There is no <laughs> way possible you should beat a nigga's ass like this. Bro gave him the stupidest wombo combo I have ever seen. Now on to the last most oh my disrespectful God. moment. In a moment that is held near and dear to my heart. And it's from it's Dragon really not Ball. Racy, you want to smoke and he got it? comes from hey, none other listen. than Equal the rights and equal lefts. Right. Now in Namek, there was a lot of disrespectful moments. Like when Frieza stabbed old buddy in the chest and was literally jumping with him on his head. Disrespectful. When he blew up Krillin. Disrespectful. When he killed the other Dende brother. Disrespectful. It was a lot of fucking raccoon. Mad disrespectful. But our most disrespectful moment comes from possibly funniest disrespectful moment is after Goku went Super Saiyan and him and Frieza have been fighting for a while. Now we all know how, how disrespectful Frieza is calling niggas monkeys and shit. For that sure. nigga Goku said, you know what, bro? I'm tired of this. I gotta bitch you for real. Start squabbing in the middle of the squab. This nigga Goku say, <laughs> that nigga, that nigga Goku say, I'm your pimp now. Ah, 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 ah. Nah, crazy. Start pimping that nigga. Start squabbing him back and forth, back and forth. This nigga freezes. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you mean you're my pimp? Just disrespectful. And I'll never forget when I first saw this, it's a quick clip, but this shit was so funny to me. This is crazy in this one moment. People don't talk about enough. How you the terror of a universe and you got bitch slapped. I personally, I see why Black Frieza did what he did to Goku and Vegeta. Because Goku did this. <laughs> crazy. 10 out of 10, obviously. Goku was whooping that nigga Frieza ass. Bro literally made him a different person after the fight. Bro was slapping <laughs> shit out of Frieza like me slapping. Yo, wait, wait. Slapping the shit out of my meatballs. Come on, come on, come on, bro. Come on. Crazy! 10 out of 10, obviously. Goku was whooping that nigga Frieza ass. Bro literally made him a different person after the fight. Bro. Nah, this, this stance right here, this nigga was holding that slap, bro. Bro, look, he, 
Bro, if you look, bro, he's Goku holding the slap like this. The freezer ass, bro, literally made him a different person look, after look, the fight. Look, bro. look, look. He's holding that shit. Building up dramatic effect, bro. He's like, D's. Like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm about to smack the shit out of you. Slapping the shit out of you. Like me slapping the shit out of my meat. Pause, pause. Uh, just mm -hmm. like I did not say that, but uh, you, was, you, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. All right, gang, we hit the disrespectful meeting. Now it's time to talk to you about the most disrespectful character you probably don't know exists. Now, if you're a JoJo's fan, you know who I'm about to talk about. And if you're not, here we go. Diavolo. Diavolo is probably, in my personal opinion, one of the most disrespectful anime characters of all time. Now, JoJo's is notorious for disrespectful big bads, but this one in particular is crazy. This dude went out of his way for people to not find out who he is, to kill someone's daughter. I'm not gonna tell you who because it'll be a spoiler. To kill people close to him, like people that serve him, to Jesus. keep something secret free. He is so, bro, bro is so disrespectful. You know how disrespectful it is to, dis to delete somebody's time? Bro was deleting people's time. And I know that sounds crazy, Wait, huh? but he was literally deleting people. And you have to watch the show to see what I'm talking about. They, it, it was different from what Dio was doing. Bro was built different. Jesus. Delete between delete. Oh my God. So his power can erase time. Nigga took away nigga's time. That's actually crazy. That's actually insane. Not that be video though, Aaron. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at my boy. Doing what he do when he does it. You know what I'm saying? W reaction. W vid.